Next curve. Okay, now I'm headed to the Snapdragon booth here in the West Hall to meet with the folks at Qualcomm about uh, digital, you know, their uh, Snapdragon drive and digital chassis and all that stuff. And I'm late, so I'm gonna check in. We'll see you inside. Here's our autonomous driving platform. It consists of uh, 11 cameras all around the vehicle, multiple radars, ultrasonic sensors, and uh, provision for a LiDAR as well. So we're targeting a level 3, level three. autonomy. Um, we, we're working together with BMW to uh, also work with tier 1s and suppliers of components that become part of the platform. So at the foundation of that platform is our, is our SOCs, so our chips. And in the back you see our, our Snapdragon, drive, Snapdragon Ride platform. <laughs> right, but what we have running is um, basically we have a solution that is combining three independent applications. So the infotainment domain, so this is running Android Auto, for example. Um, this is the cluster application. And you can see that we're actually rendering the objects from the reception. The Snapdragon Ride Flex SoC represents a significant shift toward a general purpose or better yet, a multi-purpose chip design that aims to simplify the compute architecture of the car and is able to handle a mix of workloads across domains. The Snapdragon family of SoCs is the foundation of Qualcomm's vision and ambitions for the software-defined car. Uh, it entails a profound rethinking of the architecture of the car that borrows from cloud computing concepts of virtualization of hardware and programmability. In order for Qualcomm's technologies to make inroads into this new market, you need more than chips and software. You need tools. But what we have done here is that we have captured data sets, right? Like right. 20, 20 miles or whatever. We have captured all the raw sensors and we are just playing it back oh. with the accurate timestamps and everything okay. right, through this device. Ah. So it's effectively for those same drives, it's like as if you were driving in the car, right. but except you don't need to do that. This okay. is something so like a simula launch. simulator, right? Yes, it's like a, yeah. it's a, it's a simulator, sort but of, it's a real, it's yeah. a real data. Right? Yeah, real. I mean, it's not like a simula it's not like a synthetic feed you're feeding. You have actually sure. captured all the sensors and so right, on. Right, right. Okay. It turns out that the car of the future is not just a smartphone or data center on wheels, it's a critical system. And Qualcomm is all in bringing advanced silicon to the car and the tools to help automakers realize a software defined vehicle. Speaking of the software defined vehicle, one of the biggest headlines of CES 2023 was Qualcomm's digital chassis concept vehicle. It's not a stock vehicle, it's uh, completely custom and bespoke to showcase uh, the many use cases that the Qualcomm automotive platforms can provide. I mean, all of that is powered by this Qualcomm is big on helping automakers reimagine and reinvent the passenger and driver experiences. The digital chassis concept vehicle did a wonderful job of that, featuring a spacious and minimalist interior that sports a massive trans dash screen powered by Snapdragon cockpit. Yeah. And you can see that's that whole 55 inch pillar to pillar screen. That's actually one physical implementation, but it's split into three logical screens. You can see like there's a cluster, there's like an infotainment system, there's a passenger information system, yep. and with all the complexity of antennas, like with 4G, 5G, cellular so living through X, Y, Y, all the antennas are embedded in a copy of smart antenna. Qualcomm's making a big bet on automotive. It's a significant element of its business diversification strategy and a domain that the company is putting some heavy R&D into while leveraging its deep and expansive portfolio of technologies and IP to drive the future of the car into new connected and intelligent frontiers. However, it's a crowded field as I saw at CES. There are many conducting architectures, technologies, and stacks vying to define the standard and the architecture of the connected software-defined vehicle. Thanks for tuning in to this Next Curve event vlog from CES 2023. Remember to follow Next Curve at www.next-curve.com and we will see you next year at CES 2024.